thank you for playing and thank you for all our students. And the um, concept is not over yet. <laughs> so the third part of it is coming, so I hope you can uh, all, all listen to some more minutes of the short game, yeah? So as I told you before, we were asking uh, opinion from uh, different uh, very important people in our schools. And uh, now I would like you uh, to introduce you our principal's plan. And it is based on her letter to our team, where she told us uh, what kind of sustainability activities the management has planned to do in the near future in our school. And she also mentioned uh, some uh, barriers. So, we are planning to acquire a carpet store system for all school buildings and they are very expensive and um, she also said that we have to purchase at least eight and that's why we are going to solve this problem with the help of our Woodward students and they are helping us uh, to make uh, during the lessons uh, this carpet uh, uh, store system boxes. So, okay. so uh, she told that we also want to increase our building's energy efficiency and energy classes and uh, that's why we have to require support from the owner of the school buildings and this is the problem that I told you before also during the last meetings that our school buildings we really don't own them so they are owned by the real estate development and management company and if we would like to do some changes in our uh, buildings we have to uh, get uh, approved, uh, approval from them and also the money and everything. So, and we also want to install some solar panels on the roof of our construction building and also to the students hostel. And uh, because it is an expensive investment, we are waiting uh, for this company's response. And she told us uh, also that uh, we would love to insulate the buildings to ensure energy saving. And during this calendar year, all lamps uh, will be replaced uh, with more energy efficient uh, LED solutions and lights with motion sensors will be installed in the common areas to save electricity like uh, the German students were telling us before. And we created with our small team also the annual plan uh, with different kind of uh, activities that are connected with sustainability and the environment uh, and uh, there are also monthly events for the students or the community, but there are also events uh, that how we are planning uh, uh, to tell uh, us uh, to raise the awareness of that topic among our uh, workers and uh, staff in the school. Also, that uh, we are uh, trying to get some attention to this uh, project that we are having right now and that is going to end in the, uh, October next year. So the results, we would like to introduce the results to our uh, teachers and also later to our students as well. And we are going to work with our curriculums and, uh, and we are planning to uh, teach our, uh, our students, not only students but also the teachers. And uh, we have uh, started with that, um, with that also, and we have there one uh, example of one uh, study material that has been uh, created for that purpose. Uh, one creator is, uh, is Ari, and uh, the others uh, who made it are not from our school, so we can say that it is uh, not only a community project or our school project, but uh, this is made with uh, people uh, who are from different sides of Estonia. And there are different uh, theoretical parts, also different exercises uh, inside and uh, games about uh, the topic. Ideas for the future, I don't know, have you heard anything about bee bricks? Our construction students told me that they are doing all kinds of uh, weird thing, uh, things in UK, don't you know? <laughs> And, 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 I, and I said that please tell me about these weird things that maybe we can use uh, the ideas in our school as well. And they introduced me these uh, bee bricks. 
And uh, there's one company who is uh, like um, producing them. And uh, you can support or create biodiversity by using them in your garden. I think it's great for gardens, uh, just the design and the nature lovers. And uh, if it's a brick, if you have a brick wall, for example, instead of uh, using uh, in the wall, then uh, like the regular ones, you can put some uh, special ones for the bees as well, so that the bees are going to live inside of your wall, not on the roof in the special uh, bee, bee house. <laughs> I don't know how to call it in this section. Yeah, if you scroll it a bit down, you can see some more examples. Okay, so I found that was the most interesting one that the students introduced to me. So of course, as students said before, um, it is a good idea to collect rainwater, to water the plants or to use it in our toilets. So to install uh, solar panels, and I thought that also our IT students can do something so they can uh, create some kind of um, environmentally friendly applications uh, that help people to recycle uh, trash, why not? And also there are some uh, materials that teachers can use uh, in the robotics lessons, so with the help of uh, Legos, they can uh, build uh, small uh, wind generators or, um, or the, some kind of solar panel models uh, that uh, would show how to uh, load the battery of the car uh, later in real life, for example. Also, how to integrate uh, it more into the lessons. We said um, that it would be great to put lessons together, like the biology and woodwork are happening during the same time in the same lesson. Um, we should uh, use more uh, study programs that maybe are already created, um, for example, uh, from the environmental board of Estonia. And uh, the newest thing in Estonia, it is really popular in this uh, spring. Uh, all the uh, towns are talking how they are not going to mow uh, the grass uh, so much uh, or so often like they did in previous years. And, uh, and it should help us uh, to uh, keep the biodiversity level high. And that uh, all the insects and birds are coming back also into the uh, towns. So how to get uh, more uh, participants? Our uh, teacher said that usually there is uh, no need to flutter. Fewer participants may be at first, but um, then the word is spreading that uh, it was interesting. And in the next time there will be more participants. I think also it should be uh, one part of the lesson, not a separate activity, like uh, students said. And there is a key word of key phrase looking for fruits. Uh, I'm trying to explain what it is. So sometimes we have that kind of activity for our students, and the aim is to put them um, more move around our schoolhouse, maybe they don't know the buildings yet for the new st students, for example, or it can be a part of a sport day, for example, and the task is that the students, they have to walk around uh, um, in our school or around it, and they have to find the fruits that are hidden, and if they find one, they can keep it, they can eat it or whatever, yeah, and they are very eager to find them. So, uh, <coughs> our teachers and students, they also mention prizes. So, draw prizes among the participants, like we were doing just a moment ago. In my opinion, it is not sustainable, because you can't do it endlessly, with so-called gifts or prizes. In the end, you must have a relatively expensive one, I don't know, a Tesla car or whatever, yeah? So, rewards may no longer work at some point. And I believe that the, the key here is uh, more like students and teachers uh, are taking part of an event uh, better than they have taken part of its planning. 
And now some of the things that are not letting us to do what we would love to do. As I said, we didn't own the PR school buildings. Um, we thought that can money be the question here as well or not really. So our students, some of them said that they feel that the money is not uh, evenly uh, like um, divided between the different departments in our school. So, uh, as I said before, once I believe that there is no bad weather, there is only a wrong outfit. As I said, that you were planting some trees around your campus and the weather was quite good. Yeah, so you can always do something uh, to remove that barrier. And um, one thing uh, that I'm going to comment very shortly, you can't have two things at the same time. So we had a big flower bed in front of our school, but next to it we had also a bike storage area. And in this autumn, uh, the school decided that there is a need to make this bike storage area bigger. And uh, we have to give up uh, our big flower bed. And um, I know now it's spring and, and that, uh, like management said, that in spring we will find a new place for it but I haven't heard anything about it, so I guess it's quite a forgotten topic. So, I guess it is it. Eventually, thank you for listening.